What's going on everybody? My name is Vanax. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome this morning to a new hotfix. A small little patch here for Warhammer 40k Dark Tide coming to Steam as well as Game Pass actually up to snub, which is surprising because Game Pass has always seemed to be delayed by a day or two, but that's good news. Maybe things are getting better in, in that regard. However, this isn't an, a content update, guys. This is purely a hotfix. It seems like that shark has kind of figured out the difference here because we know prior previous uh, hot fixes that actually brought in some new stuff this one though however is purely just some fixes so don't get your hopes up too high guys and this video is going to be really really short so make sure to hit that like button and comment below to help me out with the algorithm because youtube does not like short videos so this is hot fix 1021 rejects here are some patch notes for hot fix 1021 released moments ago included a revert of the visual effects for the force staff Stability and performance added AMD ray tracing support in the launcher settings. The launcher should now auto detect high performance GPUs on laptops by default. Added connection timeout to prevent infinite loops when resetting settings. Fix some crashes that could occur on some users when booting up the launcher. Fix a crash that could sometimes occur when browsing through store items. Resolve the crash that could occur in rare circumstances while using the tagging system. Fix other various unspecifiable crashes and bugs. Uh, localization fixed some more issues on some of the cosmetics uh, for the UI user interface. Removed player outlines as they weren't functioning as intended. They will make a return in the future and added the ability to reset key bindings when the game starts. As for gameplay, they fixed a bug where there was a delay between puss action and regular activities on the Achilles Mark 1 Power Mall. Scriptures and Grimoires are now available in Comsplex 154 2F, which is that new map. So now you can find those on there and fix an issue in the Cycanium, which is the meat grinder where slow motion remained active. And then visual effects right here, they've reverted the force staff. So Psych remains, hurrah. At least you're not getting blinded <laughs> when it comes to the force staff. However, no fixes when it comes to like the quelling and like the force warp or something like that. I'm not a Psyker man, I'm not 100% sure, but there is an ongoing bug with that. So nice that the game is being updated still via hot fixes of course however i wish i would get some news on maybe a tiny holiday event i know the game just came out so i'm not really expecting anything like that but would love to see maybe some snow in the morning star or something silly like that and some of the shopkeepers have like a little santa hat i don't know just something small right just for fun but i, I doubt that anything like that's going to happen again no new news of anything about the thunder hammer update as well as the psyker getting fixed. Again, thanks so much for watching, guys. I like to cover Dark Tide as you see here when it comes to patch notes, hot fixes, new stuff, videos, etc. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.